you retired from comedy in 2012, and now you're back. Uh, why and why? To come back, it means you went somewhere. And you either went somewhere because your fan base said, have a seat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> or uh, yourself or some entity had you take a seat. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, now um, you are counting on your fan base at all of those times. Mm -hmm. The prayer warriors, the people that liked you before you was as successful as you were. And, uh, and uh, the new people and the people that like the way you think, you need all those people to come together and go, um, we could, this is all nice what we have, but we, we could use something refreshing. <laughs> and so that's why Arsenio gets to come back, not trying to come back, but he gets to come back exactly how he left from, from our... <laughs> it, it, it's a fact. I'm saying not come back from the Arsenio Hall show and then come do cameos. No, no, Arsenio Hall show to Arsenio Hall show. That's, that's the consistency that we, we, we've got to be able to have. And so um, once we, as that portion of population, see that you and other people are able to do that, then we go, oh, so it's our time again. Well, that's good. <laughs> it's good for that. I'm saying no disrespect to knockoffs. Knockoffs are, are wonderful. They serve a purpose. Um, uh, yes. But uh, the original is always best. Thank you for being here. Man. Thank you for having this for me to be here. Yes. Um, so what are you talking about uh, in your act, and how much of it is about you? Because you will heckle yourself sometimes. Well, I understand if, if you don't, then you're not being true to the craft. The craft says that you talk about everybody. Mm -hmm. And to exclude yourself from everybody is a disservice to yourself. So I, I heckle me privately <laughs> in a way you wouldn't imagine because I'm not a fan of mine. I don't think I'm the greatest comedian. I don't think I'm good looking. I don't think any of that. I think exactly what the facts are. And I think if I got my act together, I could be greater than whatever I am right now. And I think that if I mess up, I should be able to fix it and rewrite the ship and get on. You know? And uh, yeah. So, but that. But that doesn't come from anybody's personal philosophy. That comes from what we are, the DNA we are born with as Americans. That's really how we get down. Like, we like to take a punch in the face and then go, was that it? That's us. <laughs> That's us. So, you know, as a country, we have to represent, too. Yeah. yeah. You know, you, you had that, like, I looked at everything. <laughs> and, and it's interesting <laughs> because, no, no. no Me I, too. Yeah. <laughs> I saw this period between November 2012 and January 2013. Yeah. A lot of cat activity. <laughs> and, and then it was like cool again. What happened in that period? Um, well, it doesn't matter what type of driver you are and how well you've driven this car for the last six hours. Mm -hmm. If you take your eyes off the road for one second, mm -hmm. that pole is going to <laughs> negate all the rest of your beautiful driving. Yeah. 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 So, um, <laughs> there, there was a lesson that I needed to learn. Mm -hmm. And... Um, God helps me because he, if you're slow, he understands you slow. And so, so. <laughs> and, and, and tell us that lesson because I think they need and want to hear it. Well, I'm saying I'm in, a, I'm in a weird position as a person in Hollywood. I'm saying anyway, mm -hmm. uh, just because of the amount of, of truth that I will tell and the fact that I take joy in it. And... Um, <laughs> There, there's no way that you can tell that much truth without offending certain portions of the population. Mm -hmm. And so now you have to figure out how you're going to handle that. And at 5'5", five, five, I've always handled it just first, mm -hmm. um, you know, mm -hmm. so that I'm always addressing whatever the problem is to nip it in the bud. And as a professional and as somebody that's now where I stand, I can no longer do that. Those are just the breaks. Mm -hmm. And so... Um, I wish that what I learned in six days, I could have learned in six minutes. It didn't happen that way. Mm -hmm. I'm just thankful that it didn't take six years instead of those six days. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 Yes. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> As a nosy fan, yeah. I would love for you to tell me your perspective 
at the target that day. Yeah, yeah. yeah how, it was, because, it was mind know, they, blowing. They showed us surveillance video, so we didn't hear anything. Yeah. We looking at it. Yeah. And I'm like, I, I would like to, I would like to hear it. Yeah. But there was a reason they couldn't let you hear because they have the audio. The audio is with the visual. It's not even separate. Oh. They had to bleep that before they showed it because if you hear what I'm saying, what he's saying to me, you would say. Why hasn't he punched him yet? Yeah, oh, okay, okay. <laughs> I'm saying, but I wasn't smart enough at the time to realize this dude's trying to make me punch him. I'm not familiar with that. Where does yeah. that come from, where, so you, can, where you want me to punch you for your paid? benefit? Is that it? He gets and understand, I'm not connected to that. I'm, hey, you can still walk up on me. One, one, one thing that makes uh, Ka Williams very special is that he own up to his uh, mistakes if he sees himself that whatever he said is a mistake he owns up to it and he's always open to letting people know that hey he's at fault hey he did this wrong hey this is not right and you see when uh asnaho asks him about it he owns up to it like no one is perfect you know one thing with owning up to a mistake that a lot of people feel it makes you weak weaker instead it makes you strong it shows that you're human and it shows that no one is perfect and it also shows that we all are prone to to errors, we all are prone to making mistakes and it is very okay and it's very, very normal to to admit your wrongs. A lot of people feel that um, a lot of people feel that admitting your wrongs means you're weak. No, it doesn't mean you're weak. Not at all. Admit your wrongs, say you're sorry. Apologize for the wrong things that you do. It doesn't make you weak. It just shows that you're related when it shows it makes people really like you more and really uh, really want to get to know you more because they're like, what kind of human being is this? You know, and in regards to the story, he said the car wanted to punch him and wanted you never knew it would be that way and sometimes you might think it's a joke but it's it's something real you know you might think it's a joke but it is um but it is it is something real at the end of the day like what i can say is if you're wrong if you say something or you do something that is wrong admit it apologize and ask for um Apologize, admit your wrongs, and ask for forgiveness. It is not a bad thing to to be wrong or to say something wrong to people. It's not bad. It just shows that you're, you're yeah. whatever your intent human. may be, good or yeah. bad. If no it's good, perfect, then let's let it be good. And if it's bad, I'll have to see it when you change into that. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm saying that. Yeah. That's. But I. Um, so he was trying to get paid. Yeah, but he can't get paid because he said it standing next to his manager at the place he worked at. Like, but I had never heard the N-word directed at me mm -hmm. with vitriol. Mm -hmm. And so now this was, uh, I, I used the word too much. And I'm realizing as he's saying it, oh, you think you can say it because I say it. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. And so then I explained to him, no, you can't because things will happen. And he goes, nothing will happen. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, but by the by the way, I love that you always stray. You always stay true to the comic game. When you rode away on that cart, I'm saying that's my cat Williams right there. You know. I had a broken kneecap at the time. Oh, is that why you did? It? See, I thought that was a comedic choice, but that was a medical decision. It really means I'm trying to cause no problems at all. Mm -hmm. I'm in the most docile position that I can be in, in an injury, and you think that that's sufficient for you to say what you say. But in this life, there are consequences, and I'm going to have to face mine, mm -hmm. and your nose has to face his. Mm -hmm. just, just, just for that one time. Just that one time. For that one last mistake. <laughs> okay, well, that is when I knew that the N-word can be used by a white person, you know, to black people. I have no, I have no idea.
I have no idea about it. Like, for sure, we're all gonna face our own issues and our own challenges. One thing I can say is, as humans, we tend to learn. No one is perfect. We grow, we learn, we improve on ourselves day by day. It just shows that we are we are relatable. And at the end of the day, we are all humans. So we are striving for improvement. I like Kavilan because he is very, very humble, very, very respectful, and he he admit his, his shortcomings and his uh doings which is which is which is not a bad thing to admit you know he admits his shortcomings and it's one thing to just show that hey man at the end of the day he's a human like me he's a human like us no one is perfect so we're all striving for perfection and uh an improvement in life so we are trying to get to be better each day you know